I was watching the news on the television last night uh, and my attention wandered away from the screen and I noticed this spider uh, in the corner of the ceiling and uh, as you can see I'll just get her out this is uh, probably a common sight to many of you in houses uh, this is the uh, so-called cellar spider this is uh, a spider known as uh, Fulcus phalangoides. So it's about, this is a big female. Uh, she's about a centimeter in length. And uh, contrary to some of the ridiculous rumors on the internet, uh, she is completely harmless. She doesn't have fangs which are capable of uh, biting through human skin. Um, what she does do is have fangs which are capable of biting other spiders. In fact, um, these things will eat pretty much anything they can get hold of. Um, they will eat wood lice, they'll eat earwigs, they'll eat moths, they'll eat any flying insects that land in their very untidy webs. Uh, but mostly uh, they will eat other spiders, including spiders which are much bigger than themselves. And you can see she's waving her legs around uh, and they use those legs very very effectively to uh, uh, fend off uh, much bigger spiders uh, and to eat them uh, and um, so if I switch now to some photographs some still photographs I've taken uh, we'll probably be able to get a better look at her and we'll talk more about that this is a photo I took uh, about a year ago um, of uh, a female fulcus um, with uh, a, a rather small house spider. In fact, as you know, house spiders can grow uh, much larger than this. If the, if the fulcus is a centimeter long, you can see this is quite a small house spider. Um, it was a wandering male I found in the house. But the cellar spider turned up in my house about 20 years ago. They've been in Britain for quite a long time. Um, we don't know where they came from originally, but they're sort of subtropical spiders. They like the warm and they've decided that humans are a good deal. Uh, they like in houses. You won't find these spiders out in the countryside. Um, they like uh, the warmth of houses, although you might find one in your garden if they've gone uh, wandering about. Um, but about 20 years ago, when they arrived in my house, I live in quite an old house. We used to have quite a lot of house spiders. Um, and uh, within the space of a year or two, all the house spiders had arrived and the fulcus had eaten them all. And I think in the last 10 years, I've only seen one or two house spiders in my house, and this is all of them. They really are very efficient predators. And the reason for that is that they have extremely potent venom, but that venom is fine-tuned to the nervous system of other insects. It's a neurotoxin uh, and it paralyzes the insect uh, so that the spider can consume it. Um, but it's completely um, or nearly completely harmless to rodents. So nothing to worry about from a safety point of view. And indeed, if you don't like big hairy house spiders, you probably want fulcus in your house. Now, um, if we uh, move on, you can see that this is a female carrying uh, an egg sac. And um, in most spiders, egg sacs are relatively complicated structures. They've usually got several different kinds of silk in protecting the eggs. But the fulcus egg sac um, is a pretty simple affair. It's just a few strands of uh, silk uh, holding the eggs together. And if you see those curvy lines on the eggs, those are in fact the, the, uh, the legs of the young spiders before they hatch. And uh, female cellar spiders uh, are really good mothers. Uh, they carry their egg sacs around with them, they protect them, and under the right conditions with plenty of food, they can breed quite fast. And uh, sometimes you'll find garages, and uh, my garden shed at the moment is absolutely full of these cellar spiders. Now, there are three species of cellar spider uh, in the UK, but you're unlikely to get Fulcus phalangoides confused with any of the others. If you look at the new edition of Britain's spiders, um, uh, you can find all the details on this. Um, the other two species, one uh, called the wine cellar spider is much smaller um, and um, 
The other one is very rare, has only been found three or four times uh, from heated greenhouses. So if you find a uh, long-legged spider in your house, uh, it's probably this. Don't call it a daddy long leg spider because that's likely to confuse it with a crane fly. Uh, it's a cellar spider and um, they're rather nice, I think. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, um, look out for cellar spiders.